Hello and welcome back to Alone in the World and here's a machine we don't use very often, our class telehandler and I'm going to use this today to pick up some bales but first of all let's talk about pigs because I've cleared a little bit of a space over here for pigs um, just at the beginning of this forest. We don't own all of this forest over here, only half of it but there's a little space just about here for pigs. Now um, I'm going to do that in a while but I'd like to just do an experiment actually because we've been doing forestry and I've been cutting trees up into three and I'd like to see if you can pull a tree all like in one piece. So let's cut this one down. And I'm not even gonna, you know, debranch it or whatever. I'm just gonna get into our class tractor over here. And the first thing to do is get rid of the, uh, the stump here. There we go. So, the next thing to do is to attach this massive tree to our winch. And then you know, see if we can pull it out of the front. We can, we can. I haven't even debranched it. So the next thing I need to do, <laughs> just for a laugh or just to experiment to see if I can just do things a bit more lazily in the future, is to bring it in here, get it over the, you know, the lip there. And uh, 52,000 and now we've got 57,000. So that was 5,000 litres of tree we've just put in here and just like in a flash basically. Anyway, first thing to do today is to go and get a pallet fork for this. So I can pick up all the bales that we made last time so we can yeah just do that. Ah, it's good to use our telehandler, even if it's just to pick up bales. So, yeah, we have, I don't know, enough hay to keep us going for the moment. And I might as well leave our machines out um, and we'll skip to tomorrow. But tomorrow, we, we need to do something about the grass field, but I'll explain that in the morning. See you tomorrow. Yeah, the grass field. Now, by the way, we've got stuff leased. What have we got leased at the moment? I keep forgetting. I definitely want to buy the forestry equipment, this thing here, because we use it all the time, and the car and the low loader. We'll get to it. But the grass field, if I just show you precision farming, um, it says here, if I can see it, yeah. The weed control is pretty bad, so we need to raise the weed control up on the grass field, which is a bit strange because normally you don't have wheels on a grass field, but I'm going to use the tractor and we do have a John Deere sprayer somewhere. Yeah, here in the shed. The John Deere R732i I think it's called. Um, and now we have, what's this, fertiliser in here at the moment. We do need to fertilise the field. But the more important thing is to put herbicide on here to raise the uh, precision farming score.
so we now have some very very expensive herbicide in the tank and let's see what happens to our environmental score when we put um, weed control on this field and I am still ill with this chest infection so sometimes I have difficulty talking but anyway we just need to spray a little bit and then yeah that should be okay and then uh, 98 look at that it's gone right up or 97 actually and your environment your environmental score increases your sale prices by 14 percent now so i think this is all we have to do today and i've just updated this this um map and now all the junk in the uh in the shed here including this fancy bit has no collision so i should be able to just drive straight through i can look at that i don't have to reverse in anymore <laughs> so okay fine fine so i might as well leave this in here and tomorrow we need to start putting soybeans in this field over here but that's a story for another day so i'll see you in the morning Okay, it's April and it's time to put the soybeans in, but there's something I'd like to do. Can I pick that up? No. I'm on the Xbox Series X, by the way, so that's why I can't pick things up willy-nilly. Yeah, there's something I'd like to do before uh, we um, put the soybeans in, which is get some pigs, because this is what I've been building up to, and now we have the space for them, and if I can get out of here... <laughs> I'm going to go over it. It's only £8,000 for the fenceless husbandry's, um, uh, you know, thing for the pigs. Well, we're here, actually. Let's just see how things are doing in here. We've got quite a lot of stuff, haven't we? Brilliant. All right, then. So... Inspired by Jeremy Clarkson, let's try and put down a pig pen. Just here. <laughs> We've got pigs in the forest. Well, we haven't got them yet, but um, I think that I will just buy pigs just here. Just ten of them. And we will buy... Yeah, we'll buy them grown up, I think. Um, we'll buy 10 German land race races. Yes, yes. Fine. And the thing we need now is some pig food. I've played Farming Simulator a lot, but um, I am not an expert on pigs. I've only just started, you know, doing them. I never used to deal with pigs at all. But uh, I started doing them in a, in a previous series, so... <laughs> Look at them all running for their food. Oh, that's brilliant. I like that. All right, water next. There we go. Yeah, this is exactly, exactly what I wanted. Pigs in the forest. Oh, <laughs> he's sleeping already. And they're surrounded by trees, and it's a shame, like, you know, maybe there's a mod or something where they can go running in the forest or whatever, but they're going to stay here, aren't they? But, brilliant, I'm so glad we've got pigs now. And, okay, I might as well leave the water thing here. Fine, so now, uh, something I've been 
almost dreading, <laughs> which is putting um, soybeans in our big field. And I say almost dreading because I'm not sure the machine I need exists. What I need is a direct drill uh, which will fertilise at the same time. Let's just stand on this. pH value is okay. Nitrogen is needs raising up basically. So let's have a look for a direct drill which will also fertilise. Right, I'm going to go for the Horsch Avatar 12.25 SD with this one here because it's a direct drill and it will fertilise at the same time. So I'm going to rent this. We need 300 horsepower, 10,000. Okay, fine. And we have, how much horsepower do we have with our tractor? We have 235. Now it's very flat here. So I'm going to try it first of all with the class and see what happens. Here it is. <laughs> Right, I don't think we have any seed actually, so let's sort it all out. Okay, now the only thing I've got to worry about is it's definitely April, isn't it, for soybeans? <laughs> let's just have a look. Yes, April. Right, it's the first day we can put them in and if I can drive this back and drive this up the hill, I should be able to use it, I think. I'm not sure, but <laughs> we'll soon find out. Right, do you know what? I can't... I can't do it with this tractor. What a shame. What an absolute shame because now I have to spend a fortune on something that's 300 horsepower but at least we'll get to use a new toy. Right, I'm going to go for the John Deere 7R which is 305 horsepower, the base model. 12 grand. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> All right then, I'll see you back in the field. I don't know why this field is not taking nitrogen. It hasn't done it, you know, from the get-go. Um, I think what I'll do with this, actually, I've done two headlands. Uh, let's see if we can put it on a worker. Yeah, I mean, it's not really a square field or anything, but we should be able to put it on a worker maybe from about... I don't know, about here or something, and then I can do the rest, you know, some other time. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, let's jump out because I'd like to just stand on the field and see the nitrogen is perfect. Okay, it's not taking, it's not actually going down. All the nitrogen is still in it. I put 2,000 litres in, and there's still 2,000 litres in it, and the nitrogen here is 45 kilograms the nitrogen here is perfect. Well that's fine then, that's okay. Right, what I'd like to do is to sell uh, some of 
our stuff. So I'm going to need this. And if I can make a lot of money out of this, I would like to buy one of the things we've got rented at the moment, like the um, this thing over here, the winch. So, can I still not pick up these... these? I'm on the Xbox, by the way. I can't pick these up. I should be able to pick them up. I really would like to buy that winch now because I think we'll have enough money for it and I'd like to save up actually for the next plot of land and don't forget we have a 14% precision farming bonus now so hopefully well I'm not sure how much we'll get <laughs> let's find out Thirty-two plus twenty-five is fifty-seven, isn't it? Because I didn't, I didn't get it all in one go. And this bit, oh, it's gone. <laughs> so about fifty-eight thousand, and you know, that's that's okay, that's fine. Because it was about fifty thousand last time. Fourteen percent of fifty thousand is seven thousand, isn't it? So that equates to the same as we got last time, except with a precision farming bonus. Right, I was just gonna see how this guy's doing and Where is he? Here he is. He's finished his task and he's done this much. Fine, okay. Right, I'll just put things away a little bit. Actually, do you know what? Before I put this away, I'm going to go and buy myself the winch, which is rented at the moment. So... Yeah, here's our rented stuff. Um, the forestry equipment, yeah, we'll send this back. And if you go into tools and forestry equipment, it's in here somewhere. Just here, this. Let's buy it, yep. Brilliant, now we own it. That's good, isn't it? Fantastic. Right, now let's put this away and we'll have to finish off the field. Okay, last bit. And yeah, there's a big lump here actually. Not ideal. So, one field of soybeans put in the ground, which is fantastic. The pH is good, the nitrogen is perfect, fantastic. Well, thanks very much for watching. Uh, we've got quite a lot done today, and uh, this is a good place to leave it. So, thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.